hey you guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me um i hope you guys like my hair um no i didn't show i i am gonna show next time how i do my hair because i did get asked like how you do it and it's really really easy um so yeah i'm just gonna show you guys how i do this makeup right here not fully detailed but you know somewhat detailed and just life update and everything so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started so first things first ignore my nails ignore my nails i just got done dyeing my hair and i am gonna do them but not right now just not right now anyways so let's just get started um i feel like i just want to cover up my acne right here i really don't like it so i'm just gonna cover that up with this color pop perfect fresh um concealer and i'm just let it sit there while i am gonna start on my eyeshadow i do have plan on going with dark i want to match my hair i want to match my hair i don't know about this shirt i'm not feeling it to be honest so we'll see we'll see it's just i don't have any short sleeve black shirt and that's because i have a lot of black shirts like actual t-shirts actual a lot of black and i decided to buy you know color shirts now and i threw all my shit out so i really didn't think about it okay mamas also, I tried out this concealer and I actually liked it. So, we're just going to try it out again. I am trying out currently new concealers. Okay, so ignore the fact that my bed looks a mess. Um, this is clean. It's just stained. Anyways, um, it is literally 1.25 in the morning and I look like this. Yeah, so that's why my bed is not made and I am not about to make it just so I can look like my room is clean when i mean it's kind of clean but when you have kids it's not clean and it's nighttime too we did clean the room today but we just have to wash basically you know but my bed is not made and my son's bed is not made either so i'm not about to act like it's made anyways i wanted to do this you know get ready with me like life uh a little, a little, a little. get ready with me life update because i haven't posted in like a month and it's just it's i don't know it's funny so i mean the next video i was gonna upload was the freaking you know my kit video and then from there i was gonna do the what you call it the how to apply eyeshadow for beginners so it's just a uh, kind of a lot so i was pregnant when i say was it's because you know i'm not pregnant anymore um i will insert it's funny because i was going to my appointment and i i was gonna vlog everything so i'm just gonna add more concealer on this eye yeah i was gonna vlog everything and it went downhill so i'm gonna just insert the you know the clip right now for you guys to see and please ignore my son he's playing on his tablet and it's this late he needs to be asleep but we kind of messed up our schedule and it's yeah because of him i don't understand how he freaking sorry sorry i'm getting distracted anyways insert clip now hey you guys welcome back to my channel ignore my lips honestly um it's because i'm gonna be wearing a mask so i was like you know no lipstick even though i look so freaking weird i also forgot my tripod so like i'm holding my fucking phone um so today i have a doctor's appointment i found out sorry i'm shaking oh my god i did not think about that it's because it's kind of cold in here um we're at the gas station right now but but i have a doctor's appointment because i am pregnant with baby number three three um if you didn't know well i don't think i ever mentioned it 
but oh look i i did my nails my own acrylics or whatever um anyways if you didn't know i was wanting a third baby um i would tell everybody in the household all our family members knew that you know i wanted a third baby but i don't think i mentioned it on youtube that you know i'm like oh i want a third baby um so yeah here we are third baby <laughs> um so we are we are currently gonna go to the doctor's appointment i don't know if i fucking like these lashes or not my sister gave them to me from dollar tree they look really pretty in the packaging but i don't know how i feel about them and they're really really huge on my eye um but yeah we're gonna go to um my doctor's appointment i'm gonna get an ultrasound oh look at my hair i'm gonna get an ultrasound and basically from there we'll see okay so now that you watch that i am done you know with that with my eyes so yeah Anyways, now that you watched that, obviously, obviously you could tell that my mask, please be quiet. Obviously, you can tell that I was really excited. Um, I was happy. We were trying. Sadly, that day, I ended up finding out, um... I had a miscarriage but like as in so my body um thought i was still pregnant but the chromosomes didn't form correctly so therefore i just had the yolk sac it's like it's hard to explain but i will show you guys so this is what the ultrasound was looking like at five weeks and when i went that day i was about to be eight weeks you know it was just by a couple days i think like two days um so i was at 23.7 centimeters or right i don't know something like that whatever milliliters what milliliters wow that's fucking water right <laughs> um i don't know so i was 23.7 and i was supposed to be measuring at 25 so my doctor decided to wait you know till a week later just in case you know i was just it was forming slow but no it just stopped forming out of nowhere the chromosomes just didn't fully form um let me you know start doing my makeup because it's not this is gonna be a long ass video where i'm just talking and talking and y'all don't get to see shit being done um so yeah that basically you know i waited till next week but when i found out i was upset and i did not cry at all at the doctors but i did cry in the car i was like you know um anyways <laughs> anyways he had told me you know if i did have a miscarriage like you know at that point we didn't know um we were gonna do a procedure it's like i don't know he said like a surgery procedure but i just say abortion procedure because it's literally like the same thing as an abortion so basically they did that an abortion procedure well i ended up getting that because i ended up getting an ultrasound to where it was like oh yeah girl i i ended up having a miscarriage on saturday i think it, i believe it was a thursday when i went to my appointment on saturday which was the day i was eight weeks on that day i ended up bleeding like super oh my god i clicked on the really light blue and that's not the one i wanted to touch fuck por andar hablando anyways i ended up bleeding on saturday of that week and let me just put this on real quick okay so i basically got it like you know somewhat figured out right there um, I am using my James Charles palette. I am going in with Boutique, Benny, and No Beans, which is right here. These three right here. Anyways, so I ended up getting an ultrasound, and, you know, I was bleeding Saturday. Um, I was bleeding a lot, just a bunch of, like, balls of blood, um, blood clots, basically. And 
I ended up getting a fever on Sunday, not on Saturday, on Sunday. I ended up getting a fever and I was like, I was feeling really, really sick. Uh, mind you, this is my second time having a miscarriage. I ended up having a miscarriage before my daughter. Um, yeah, this is my second time, but this one was like worse. Like I'm talking about like, y'all, I literally just stopped bleeding five days ago. And it's been, it's been literally since I started bleeding, it was a month and I was about to make five weeks. Like it was a month and some days. Um, but I am cramping. I've been cramping like a lot. And yeah, basically I think I'm about to get my period again. Like either. Nice. I really don't like this setup. Okay, so either I get my period again or I don't know, I think. Okay, anyways, so see, I'm getting all lost. It's because I haven't done this in a while, so my head is like, you know, kind of messed up. Mama, stop pushing me. I'm like in this moving chair where she like, you know. Anyways. I really didn't want the procedure to be done. I was honestly scared for it. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to need it since I'm bleeding a lot. I basically, I thought, I was like, you know, I think he's going to be like, oh, you bled everything or you're going to bleed everything. You don't need the procedure done. But sadly, no, he ended up, they ended up giving me an ultrasound. And they're like, um, I think we see the membrane or whatever still in there. So we need to do the procedure, which it didn't really take long but that shit hurt and i ended up asking if they could put the iud in which is for five years if they could do that while they did the procedure also so i did get that um honestly the reason why i did it is because i had okay y'all okay so my setup is obviously trash I am trying to figure out how to set this up nicely. I was gonna like, you know, set up pure, but I couldn't find the tripod that goes connected to the mirror or whatever. So oh, just bear with me. Next time I will have better setup, like I promise. Anyways, so yeah, I ended up asking for the IUD and he said yes, so I did get it. I am currently with the IUD. Um, The reason for that is before you know before i got pregnant i was working out i was working out which i'm gonna talk about that in a little bit i was working out i was hot girl summer body my idea i ended up stopped trying i stopped trying i was like you know what i'll try again later for a baby but i was thinking like 2022 and i mean obviously if the baby came i was gonna be happy either way because i did want a baby um so yeah, I stopped trying and I started like, you know, taking care of myself or whatever. So I was being healthy. So then that's why I basically got pregnant because I was being healthy. Um, let me, you know, do this right here too. But I was already in mind. Um, I am planning on going to school to learn how to do nails and like be a nail tech. So I did have that in mind before I got pregnant. And then when I got pregnant, I was like, oh shit. So I crossed that off the book and I was like, maybe next year. Thank you, mamas. Because I do, um, I have to pay 3K, you know, to be a nail tech. So to go take the course for like three months, I believe three or four. And I was planning on doing that. But if you're having a baby, obviously, you have to spend on the baby versus you know, going to school. If I was going to be going to school and having a baby, by the end of the year, I was due um, December 13th. No, December 17th. I was due December 17th. So, and I'm planning on going to school for nails in October. So, yeah, um, that was not going to work out. So, I had that in mind, you know, before pregnant. And then I ended up getting pregnant. I'm like, okay, so no school. That's cool. Next year. Um, 
so yeah so that's the reason basically why i got the iud i was like you know what i believe it was a sign that i shouldn't have a baby right now um i am happy with my two babies but i do wish i could have another one so i figured why not go this year worry about me you know basically recover my body from having a baby you know just a year ago i had a baby so i was like you know what i'm gonna just recover my body and i am gonna go to male school you know do something else with my life i am that type of person that i am so not satisfied with my career like yeah i love being a makeup artist um yeah i do videos in youtube here and there but i honestly do want to do more with my life so i am not satisfied at all like with my career wise i'm satisfied with my family and everything you know but career wise i am not satisfied what puppy es que para que no te fijas ve ponlo allá entonces um so yeah i do want to be a nail tech something i've always been interested in but I never, you know, I've been more interested in makeup versus being a nail tech or whatever. So that's why I proceeded makeup as a career first. And later on in life, whatever I can do, I'm going to do it. So now I am, you know, going to go and try to be a nail tech. Okay, so I moved like, you know, I think I have to see my double chin, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I moved it because it just kept on falling and my phone is going to fuck up. So I'm just going to look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it right here. Um, so far, this is what my eyes are looking like. I ended up using these two to blend out the darker colors and this one is on my brow bone right here and the yellow one let me show you guys the yellow one right here is on my brow bone um i used that just to blend everything out i feel like my eyeshadow is kind of looking like trash because i have not done my eyeshadow in a really long time so i feel like i completely suck i have no idea where i even left off because i had to stop because my son you know he started bothering me so i had to stop so i am gonna go in with this dark blue which is cola from um james charles palette and i'm just gonna apply it on my eyes um but yeah i ended up getting the procedure um i wasn't in pain after it i mean i was during that shit hurt like i'm saying the iud really really wasn't that bad i did i did feel it like when he put it but like i said it really wasn't that bad um what hurt more was like the you know him taking out everything from in there that really 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 hurt like i was like oh my god are you done now like come on dude like it hurts so bad but the after pain i did not get no pain after i mean yeah i didn't really get no pain after it i just got i did end up getting nauseous because they gave me nausea pills just in case i do get nauseous and they ended up giving me like medicine like you know where it like gets me drowsy and i fall asleep it's for pain and like these three pills i had to take for like bacteria just in case so i did end up taking all of those um and i was allowed to breastfeed they ended up changing my pills exactly for me to be able to breastfeed oh by the way i am still breastfeeding girl she is one and i am still breastfeeding um okay mamas ben vente so um i'm basically i'm laying off the boob during the day she's doing real good like where she doesn't need the, the boob after like seven hours and which is good just currently i did some clients for the first time without her like without taking her because i've been taking my clients this whole year and bringing her along like oh my lord jesus she's been a little struggle but yeah i ended up doing my clients without taking her like everything went by so fast like my husband i was like 
would you like to be a stay-at-home daddy? And he's like, no, that he can't do it with both of these kids. And I am dead. Like, that is just funny. Anyways, um, how do you like this so far? I think I like it, right? It's kind of cute. So yeah, basically my recovery from that wasn't really bad for like probably like four or five days. I stayed in home because I was kind of feeling like shit. Ahorita mamas. Well, it's nighttime so I kind of do give boob during the night. And like I said, during the day she does not take boob at all. Um, <laughs> mira tu pelo. Oh, crazy girl. And she's, she's smiling because she's looking at my palette, y'all. She's looking at my palette and she's like, oh, oh my God. Let me just tell y'all how she fucked up my Jaclyn Hill palette, the one I just got. And I have not done a review or a look yet. Mm-hmm. She messed it up. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? <laughs> ¿Sí? <laughs> um, let me just give her boop and I'll be right back. Like, these kids stay, like, you know, I'm just trying to do my shit and... They stay interrupting. Like, they should be knocked out. Okay, so I'm thinking about going in with, like, this glitter right here. Do y'all think that would look good? I'm over here asking y'all, like, if y'all gonna answer me ASAP. And I am just gonna be, you know, I'm over here, like, basically, right now, talking to myself. So, I am basically gonna be answering my own damn question. Um, Do I like it? I think I do. Mm, should I do glitter? Should I do not do glitter? Um, this kind of reminds me of a look I did that I really love so much, but it was shimmery blue on top. Oh yeah, I used that shimmery blue on here. I don't know. I really don't. Um, I really forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I think it was about the booby. Um. Yeah, basically she just takes booby a lot at night. She does take it a lot at night, which is kind of a struggle because, you know, she, like, recovers from the freaking boob she didn't drink during the day. So she does bother me a lot at night. But she is, she has not been wanting no sippy cups or anything. So currently she has been learning, to be honest, how to drink out of a straw from, like, Capri Sun and, like, out of straws we bought. So, but she doesn't know how to drink out of a sippy cup with a straw because it's way more like stronger. So yeah, currently she is struggling with that. Well, there's, there goes my daughter interrupting me from basically doing my makeup. Okay, mamas. A ver, ¿qué te doy? Que te doy que no me puedes arruinar y que no vas a abrir. Do y'all think she'd open this? I don't know. I don't think so. Then, hopefully she don't. The next thing you know, she opens it and fucks it all up. Ha ha, silly me for thinking she wasn't going to open it. <laughs> y'all heard that? Ha ha. Oh, she's so cute. See, how can I not want more babies? They're so adorable. <laughs> She's so cute, I swear. I'm like basically in love with my daughter that I'm like, oh yeah, give me more babies. Cause I love her. Anyways. Basically, that's where I've been cause I've been bleeding for a whole month and I've been like, I have not been wanting to get ready at all. And I honestly, I've been through such a like, not a mental breakdown because, I don't know. It's just, I've been like feeling not myself. It's like, do I want a baby? Do I not want a baby? Did I do the right thing about getting an IUD? Did I not? Um, I was looking at kittens and I was like, oh my God, I want a cat. Do I, I can't afford a cat right now because if I'm about to go to school for an LTEC, I'm, you know, I got two kids. Gotta try to maintain two kids and then my kitten, I'm gonna have to take it to Susitas también and then pay for todas sus vacunas and all of that. Like, you know, those are expensive too. Don't think pets aren't expensive. So, it's like right now in my life, 
Well, currently, right now, I'm just kind of like, what, what the hell do I do? Like, what can I do to like keep me distracted? What can I do to like keep on getting me moving and all of that? So I was like looking at myself in the mirror. I was like, damn, I need to do something about my hair. So there we go. I go ahead and dye my hair. Um, I think I might upload the video of me dyeing my hair before y'all see this one maybe um so yeah i ended up dyeing my hair i actually really love it love how it came out it looks super cute um but i'm still you know yeah it was my hair but i'm still like i want something to do like, like something to get me really really distracted and everything <laughs> Like, yeah, I have my babies, but she's basically does everything on her, her own now and just looks for me for food. You know, booby and everything. And, I, and when she learns, when she learns that she don't want booby anymore, I'm over with. Like, I'm, it's done for me. She ain't gonna want me. And she kind of stopped saying mom. I mean, I haven't heard her say mom in like past week. <laughs> all she's been saying is dad and you know kids forget things really easily um i've been speaking so much and i'm not even done with my eyeshadow so i am just gonna you know finish my eyeshadow and just keep on speaking to you guys later because this one it keeps on stopping me and you know i keep on getting distracted but yeah that's basically what i have been doing for this whole month that i haven't uploaded um, I also forgot to mention, like, my hubby bought me my ring light, my ring light, he, he calls it ring light, so now he got me fucked up saying ring light. Anyways, he bought me my vanity mirror, because you know how I was saying on my vanity video, if you haven't watched it, I'll have it here, here, or here, or here, or link down below. <laughs> she is trying to grab the freaking, she's trying to grab the palette. Anyways, Ben. Um, he bought me my vanity mirror and I really love it. I do have the video and everything. I recorded everything, but I just, like I said, I have things recorded that I have not uploaded yet because it's just, you know, I needed that time for myself. And now I just feel like, you know, I, um, am going to be uploading a lot of videos right now because I, I need something to do. I don't like to be with nothing to do i feel like i am useless doing nothing so that's why i need something to do you know like basically when i've been having my makeup clients i was like i need more makeup clients i need i need more more and more and more it's just i'm i'm that person that's not satisfied at all with a lot of things so yeah that's how my life's been so recently mm. oh and let me just say about weight loss all right we'll talk about weight loss when i have more of my makeup done because yeah okay so it's currently three in the morning and i just got my babies to go to sleep so i was gonna do glitter um i'm kind of like leaning down because i feel like i'm too yeah look at this anyways i was gonna do glitter but that's just a lot of work when I'm just literally about to take it off. Like, I like to do that type of stuff. But only if it's gonna, like, at least be on for an hour or so. And I'm immediately gonna take this makeup off. So, therefore, I am... Yeah. I think I am definitely just gonna leave it like this. Like a smoky blue eye. It looks cute just the way it is so i feel like with the whole full face and lashes it would look way better um yeah i just don't want to do glitter honestly it would have looked nice and sexy with the blue but i'll just redo this look like another day just not today so yeah okay so i ended up using my wet and wild foundation um i ended up using the darker one because the lightest one is kind of too white on me and i did go to the pools so i feel like i did get a little bit darker so i am going in with the kylie 
Kylie Tequila Tan bronzer and I am just gonna apply this to my cheekbones like I'm just gonna lightly bronze um I haven't sprayed my face and my face currently on this side it's really really dry and that's because I accidentally got some bleach on it when I was bleaching my face I mean my face wow when I was bleaching my hair so yeah I accidentally got some bleach and basically this whole area is like really really dry like nice going I've actually been really liking this one it's like really light but also it's really buildable as you can see um okay so weight loss I have I have lost 18 pounds total my current weight is 149 and my weight before you know what I lost all this I was 168 so okay so before i was actually working out and i was just eating whatever i wanted but i was working out to where in a whole month i lost eight pounds and i was tracking it down i was gonna do a whole video and everything until i found out i was pregnant and i was like no there's no point i'm not gonna lose any more weight so i was like there was no point to even tell you guys about it but I did end up losing eight pounds in a month. Just, um, I literally, I walked two miles daily inside my house, just inside my house, back and forth, two miles. And I was starting to drink a little bit more water, but literally that's it, that's it. And that's because like, you know, since I'm not really that active here at home, I don't do anything big, so, that's why just walking them two miles made a really big difference in me and that's why i lost eight pounds and like i said i was eating whatever i wanted literally did not change none of my meals or anything so i lost eight pounds and since i ended up having the miscar miscarriage i have not been able to work out at all since oh i thought i had something in my arm I have not been able to work out at all um, since I've been bleeding and every time I would try to work out, you know, just walk, you know, for a good bit, just walk for a good bit, I would freaking start cramping, which it would freaking hurt. So then that's why I stopped. That's why I was like, nope, I'm going to just wait till I am fully off, you know, from bleeding and then i am just gonna you know work out but basically um basically the miscarriage i have lost 10 pounds because of it literally that's what's helped me lose a lot more in a whole month i've lost you know 10 pounds ever since i started bleeding but my food my eating intake is still the same i am still only drinking i am drinking just water and cranberry juice like i drink cranberry juice to help me go use the restroom because i am constipating i've oh i've always been constipated so that's something that i've always struggled with but what helps me go to the restroom is um eating prunes um, drinking cranberry juice and drinking a lot of water after eating prunes like that makes you go to the bathroom quick so basically literally that's all I drink um, soda I've never drank soda ever since high school like I said um, pregnant I did crave it I did drink it a little bit but it's not something that I was like oh yeah I'm gonna keep drinking this for sure no absolutely not and that was just you know a probadita and that's it so yeah um since i have stopped bleeding i am i have been wearing um of my paja legui but i am i am planning on reworking out again you know it was super easy walking in my house and that literally helped to be lose weight like why wouldn't i do that again literally just walking and i know if i'm just like literally walking every day and it wouldn't even be 
it wouldn't even be every day that's the thing like i would walk at least four times a week just four times a week and that made a huge difference because obviously you get lazy you get tired and you're just like oh i don't want to walk i don't want to do you know anything and yeah basically just literally like four times a week so imagine if i would have worked out like actually do some like workouts like ab workouts or some shit i would have probably lost more so that's why i am thinking like you know i am gonna try to be more precise on working out and not only just like working out but like eating wise too try to be a little bit more healthier eating um even though i do eat home food but like you know some home foods aren't healthy it's like oh no that's too much cheese that's too much you know and all of that so i am gonna try to you know be a little bit more healthier and see how that helps me you know lose weight and everything so i'm just waiting on my lashes i'm going with this next lingerie lin i mean why can i not say it whatever um it's called lippy 08 this one no oh. this one oh no this one what the fuck yeah i'm i need to go to sleep that's what i need to do anyways i'm gonna put this one i feel like going with the little pink would look cute yeah i think so i'm just waiting on my lashes you know to get tacky but basically yeah you guys that's basically what my whole month has been like just a bunch of bleeding literally but yeah in total i've lost 18 pounds just this year alone i haven't done my makeup in so long but like i overlined one lip and then i clean it and then it freaking what you call it i un i take off my my lipstick like ugh it's a struggle right now literally one eyelash done and yeah basically i am freaking i am looking cute oh shit i can't see in this position and two eyelashes done let me just um push it down okay i'm just wait until like it fully sticks don't want to mess with it too much okay y'all i think my eyebrows need some filling in huh no. i think i am gonna fill them in because my eyes are super dark and they're like so light going in with this like color pop brown one that i stay using oh god and they're so thick great now they're gonna look a little thicker huh I am going really lightly because I really don't want to make it make them look any thicker than what they already look like. Anyways, I really haven't even done my eyebrows. That looks a little better. I haven't done my eyebrows, so they're kind of like, you know, bushy at the moment. I need to. I literally just cleaned them up. I was too lazy to like do everything to them. So I am just going to spray my face. One second. And I'm going to let that sit because my face is so freaking dry. And I just need to pinch my lashes with my... I just need to pinch my lashes with my actual lashes. Where in the fuck is my lash tweezer? Well, I don't know where my lash tweezer is right now, so we're just gonna wait on that. How do you guys like my hair? You guys like it? I'm over here asking you guys, and I know for sure my hair video will be 
literally uploaded before this oh my god i did not add highlight well then good thing i remembered so i am just gonna be applying my amorizzi highlighter like i literally have not changed my highlighter in a while and i currently about I currently bought me the Jaclyn Hill highlighters, which I still have yet to try, and I am gonna do, you know, a review for it, which that one will also come soon. Like, I'm talking about, like, y'all, like, I have been, like, I literally had a whole month break that I am, you know, basically gonna be back in my game, because... Mm -mm. okay so yeah basically that's uh like a summary of this whole month that's passed by and um i just want to say i am fine i'm fine now i am doing pretty good and yeah there's really nothing much else to say that i think i got everything to be honest um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting ready with y'all and let me just show you guys a little close up there we go this looks way better than versus the setup i had going that way why this eye look like it's kind of like droopy i am obsessed with my hair like i really do love it Look, the freaking blue has basically came off. I really don't like that blue. Mm. So that sucks. I really like, you know, it looks like purple. It has faded out. Um, I really don't like it. Well, next time I know, I'm going to do the glitter for sure. But I still do like this look. Anyways, just no more talking. Video is basically done. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.